their schools like Berkeley School of Music, Musicians Institute, people getting degrees and not getting oh, paid. Oh, I their hear degree. what you're saying. You saying you went the whole route, got your degree in music. You you done devoted your whole life to this. And a actually, to be very honest, if you're on the level that we're talking about, you're most likely taking a pay cut from the church anyway to where you could actually be making outside of the church. Yeah. I hear you. Go ahead. Continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right about that. I got something else. I, I love Take you. this pill and swallow it. <laughs> Check this out. So, this man hurt. I'm sick. Hey, hey, he hey. This man hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, forgot who said that. You hit that button. You hit that button. Um, I forgot who said that. So, um, from my experience, I've, I've sat in calls where I'm hearing, you know, hey, he. He could play for us. Uh, can we do at least $75 a Sunday? Nah, I can only do 50 right? OK. But then I do a YouTube video, go viral, and in two weeks, that video made me $11,000. So you know, and that's what it is. Uh -huh. like. To be honest, I, and that's, boy, we could piggyback off this. What it, what it also is, is it's a mechanism to try to lowball us. So if we get in that mindset yeah. to try to, like, let me just go ahead, humble yourselves. First of all, no, that's disrespectful. You don't, you don't tell someone to humble themselves so you could take advantage of them. This is what the church does. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah. it's like, yeah. yo, just like he said, he working to do his thing, his thing and he going outside and outside the church He's making this money. So you use humble yourself to try to lowball me. Bro, no. Nah. Actually, you should humble yourself and understand what I'm worth. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, hey, if you wanna, if you want to test it, bro, give give the worship team the reins. If they got, if they got the go and they could do it, give the worship team the reins. And when they get the reins and grow your church, just make sure that you get them dues a raise without them having to ask. I agree. Um Let's say if I had a church, right? No, no. Everybody, oh, think pastor I'm a pastor. Jerome. Everybody think I'm a pastor <laughs> and all this stuff, and I'm not. I'm not. I do preach, bless God. Uh, but I can't pastor because I don't love the people that much. Bless them. Bless them. And that's em. to be very God's honest. People. This boy. Yeah, God's people that's just to something. be honest. You, you, <laughs> good preachers don't make good pastors. You saw Firm with Dick and Jane? That, that's hilarious. That, yeah, you just got that's indicted. Hilarious. Your no, whole no, but, stock dropped. But down. no. But here's, if I, if I had a church, <laughs> this is what I would do. Because um, everybody, they, they real loosey on this thing. They really try to make, hold on, sorry about that, y'all. You're supposed to have that off. Man. It, it's OK. Oh. It's all right. Um, but they real loosey-goosey. And I explain it like they really feel like if you get paid, you're taking money from the church, you're wrong and all this stuff. Here's how I put it. All you pastors out there. Mm. Uh, <sighs> You might not like this, but you can hold people accountable if you're paying them what they're worth. I'm going to let that sit there. You know why you having trouble with your drummer staying safe? <laughs> Keep talking to a direct person. With, 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 with all these people not coming to church and they not giving their best, it's because you can't hold them accountable when they don't feel valued. And then at the end of the day, it's that simple. I would ask this. What is holding them accountable? That's my devil's advocate. Oh, that's Cause, a good cause, one. Because they will take that and run with it, and it turns into a level of That's a good role. one. No, so that's a good one. Uh, let's say you got your degree in law, and I hire you to a law agency because of your reputation. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay you this salary. But bro, you keep losing cases. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, we're gonna have to talk. Like, hey man, I brought you in because you showed this. Now that, like, we giving you the money. Come on, that's like, kind of like this. Like, 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 like. Uh, I pay. I like. It, first of all, everything should be on the table up front. 
Definitely. There should be no gray areas in your expectations for Ooh, your musicians. You just killed every oh, pastor. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah. All your singers, <laughs> your, don't. It should be no gray area. Um, that being said, hey, bro, I know we didn't play in all 12 keys, uh, but you transposed last Sunday. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, and I paid you because I saw you. <clears throat> I, I, I was on the assumption that, you know, you playing all your keys. Now, now I'm not going to dock you. But I got to hold you accountable that you advertised yourself to be this. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about, with accountability. Yeah. Also, I mean, I'm going to say something. You can't outlive what you play, or you can't outplay what you live, right? Mm -hmm. Especially, I mean, <laughs> yep. you'd be like, let them cymbals sing. It's because you like the song that we sing it. I mean, I, I, or you can't you can't play Rihanna's song on Saturday better than you played this CCM song. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Like 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 you out here play goodness of God, stick at the cow. <laughs> 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 but but last night at the where you, where you was getting your other money, you like you all like you can't. Right. So yeah, 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 yeah. 